last Friday I uploaded the video my great grandma that was my dad's grandma and that was filmed in 1988 now not many people can say they remember their great grandma I've asked numerous people over the years do you remember did you get to know your great grandma and their answer would be in a quote uh, I wouldn't know it enough. I barely remember her. It was before I was born, and that's a quote. Uh, you know, just different answers like that. You know, now I did. I got lucky there. My great grandma lived to be 97 years old. Like I said, that was filmed in 1988. Now, when you watch that video of her, you'll notice it has a peacefulness to it. Now, you'll notice you hear traffic. Her house is right. Uh, she's located in Stearns, Kentucky. That's McCreary County. It might be Whitley County. It's, a, it's real close to the county line. That's located in southeastern Kentucky. It's about 10 or 15 miles north of the Kentucky-Tennessee state line. That's McCreary. Uh, M-C-C-R-E-A-R-Y. McCreary County. Anyway... You'll notice when you watch that video, you'll see it like the sunlight coming through the room. Her, her door was open. Now, as you watch that video, you'll notice how peaceful the video seems. That's how peaceful the 1980s was. Yeah. You know, in those days, you did, you did not panic to lock your door. It was much more peaceful. Now, in today's world, you, you panic to lock your door. Well, in the 19, what I miss about the 1980s, that was 1988, you'll notice how peaceful it seems. And that's the way it was inside or outside. It was a real peaceful time. Now, I got to know my great-grandma, Stella, named Stella Shepard, very well. And I never knew her not to have the Bible laying on her lap. She had this large magnifying glass laying on the, on the Bible. She always had it opened. Now, when she get a lot of company, she would close the Bible and put it to her side. If you, real, if you look real close in that video to her right, you'll notice the Bible's there. You have to look real close because, you know, it's, it was filmed in 1988. But I never knew her to be without the Bible. And you ought to have heard her talk about the end of time, the plagues of the the plagues in the Bible. Nothing personal to nobody. Don't send me no mean comments. Respect me and respect her. Uh, you know, plagues of the Bible, living together, not being married, AIDS. I, you know, well, the other plagues in the Bible. She used to say, once those plagues are fulfilled, then God will come back. She also once said. And then she said this with a chuckle, a light laugh. She says, and I quote her again. She says, I don't know why God's let me live this long. The only thing I can think of, he's wanting me to preach the word of God. So she got to preach it on VHS when her, when her grandson recorded her. And I'm getting to record it over the world on this in this video. And, you know, she was a wonderful, she was a vegetarian. She's a wonderful person. She was an Adventist. Uh, now, I don't totally agree with all things Adventists do, but that's beside the point. She believed in the same God. I tell you what, you ought to have heard her talk about the end of time. Now, while she talked about in 1988, oh, by the way, oh, it has come true today. By the way, uh, you'll notice in the video, her son, her first son, she had 12 kids, her first son said, uh, uh, well, you know, they asked her how old she is. She, and if you watch the video, you'll hear her say 90, 94 years old, October. And you'll she was born October. Anyway, you'll hear her uh, a son, uh, El, uh, I, I think it's Elmer, uh, say, you're all invited to her birthday. Now, I did go to her birth, 95th birthday. I, I wasn't there when they filmed her, I don't believe. I went too far away. I was uh, w when they filmed her in 1988. I I lived about 15 miles away. Yeah, I lived pretty close to her. Uh, not you know my mom and dad, but uh, when you when you watch that film, I only lived 10 or 15 miles from her. 
she, she was she was the most wonderful person you can imagine. Uh, she never seen. I never never heard her cuss. I never never seen her get mad. She ran a store. She, uh, they tore the store down and built a house uh, right next to her house. There, she ran a store for years. I remember her store. I was just a little kid then, but I remember her store. We really miss her. Grand, great grandma Stella Shepherd, rest in peace. Because you're in the kingdom of God.